Hello everyone! Have you guys brushed your teeth today? I am pretty sure you guys brush your teeth 2 to 3 times for every single day. But have you ever wondered what are the life cycle of a toothpaste? So, in this video, I will be sharing about the life cycle of a toothpaste. So, these are the things that will be discussed in this video. The first one is the introduction of toothpaste. The second one is life cycle assessment of toothpaste. The third one is the impact of toothpaste on environment. And the last one is the mitigation measure to reduce the impact. So first, I will start with the introduction. Toothpaste is a piece or a gel dentifice used with a toothbrush to clean and maintain the aesthetic and health of teeth. Toothpaste were invented by Egyptians around 5000 before Christ before toothbrushes were invented. The ingredients used included a powder of ox hooves, ashes and burnt eggshells that was combined with pumice. So, there are three main purposes of using toothpaste. The first one is keeping teeth and gums clean. Second is to whitening teeth. And the third one is to freshening breath. Moving on to the life cycle assessment of toothpaste, which consists of six stages. Stage one is raw materials. There are nine ingredients of toothpaste. The first ingredient is binders. Binders is used to keep the liquid and solid ingredients from separating during storage. The second ingredient is abrasives. The third ingredient is substances that are used to reduce the surface tension of the water in the toothpaste and also aiding the formation of bubbles. The next one is humectants. Humectants are used to keep the liquids and solid from separating by retaining the water in the toothpaste. Next, flavors and sweeteners. Flavors and sweeteners are used to make the toothpaste pleasant to use fluoride. The next one is fluorides. Fluorides are used to strengthen teeth and to prevent tooth decay. Next is tooth whiteners, preservative, and the last one is water. Moving on to the stage 2, which is manufacturing. There are three steps in manufacturing. So the first step is weighing. After transporting the raw materials into the factory, the ingredients are both manually and mechanically weighed. This ensures accuracy in the ingredients' proportions. The second step is mixing. Then, the ingredients are mixed together. Usually, the glycerin water mixture is done first. All the ingredients are mixed together in the mixing pot. So, the last step is monitoring. So the temperature and humidity of VAT are watched closely. This is important to ensuring that the mix comes together correctly. So the next stage is stage 3 which is packaging. So there are a few important things in packaging stage. So first, toothpaste is packaged in tubes and blown with air to ensure that they are clean and then the tube is kept. The tubes are then filled using a descending palm and a cream at the end. Toothpaste tubes are often made with a combination of different plastics and a thin layer of aluminum. And then, the tubes are then placed into individual boxes and the boxes are packed into larger shipping boxes to be sent to warehouses or stores. So the tubes and boxes will often have the color sheets of blue, white or green which are all cool or fresh colors. Moving on to stage 4 which is distribution and transportation. So there are few main things involved in distribution and transportation stage. So toothpaste is shipped and transported in vehicles which use fossil fuels. And then, the toothpaste are transported from factory to warehouse before being distributed to different distribution channels. The distribution channels include 
First, convenience stores and gas stations. Second, department stores. Third, hyper markets and supermarkets. Fourth, drug stores and pharmacies. And the last one, e-retailers. The next stage, which is stage 5, is consumer use. There are few important points in consumer use. The World Health Organization, WHO, has recommended the yearly use of 6 tubes of toothpaste of 170 grams each and 4 toothbrushes per individual. So the average people brushing teeth is 1 to 2 times a day. And a pea-sized amount of toothpaste used per brushing, which is approximately 0.25 gram of toothpaste. The last stage, which is stage 6, is the end life. So, there are two ways of end life. The first way is recycle. The recyclable tube and the outer packaging or box of the toothpaste can be recycled. Colgate Palmolive has the first recyclable toothpaste tube as the result of 5 years of research. The second way is disposal in landfill. So the heavy plastics and laminates used in making the tube make recycling toothpaste tubes difficult. For this reason, nearly 1 billion toothpaste tubes are sent to landfills each year. Moving on to the impact of toothpaste on the environment. So there are several negative impacts of toothpaste on the environment. The first impact is plastic pollution. 1.5 billion toothpaste tubes are discarded worldwide each year, and those tubes end up in landfills and oceans. The second impact is air pollution. The plastic tube is a product of petroleum, and about 6 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilogram of plastic produced. And the third impact is water pollution. Chemicals in the toothpaste such as SLS and triclosan are spitted down the drain, leaking into river, lakes and ocean downstream, causing a serious water pollution. Moving on to the mitigation measure. There are few mitigation measures that can be practiced to reduce the negative impact of toothpaste. First, we can try to use toothpaste made with environment-friendly ingredients such as plant-based ingredients. Second, we can choose 100% recyclable tube that can be easily recycled. And lastly, we can try to use toothpaste tablets to prevent from using plastic tube packaging. So, we have come to the end of the video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also comment down below of what you think about this video. And thank you for watching. Bye!